Good day and welcome to JNN's Headline News. I'm Kimberly Wright. In the headlines at this time, frustration is growing surrounding the status of several persons detained in St. James under the state of emergency who were transferred to Kingston. The Cornwall Bar Association confirmed that 50 persons were transferred on Thursday from the Freeport Station in St. James to the Horizon Adult Remand Center in Kingston are now back at the Freeport Station due to a lack of space. The Court of Appeal has reserved its decision on the application filed by lawyers representing former Prime Minister Portia Simpson Miller and other senior officials of the People's National Party PNP to take their challenge of the Trafigura case in the UK Privy Council. It will hand down its ruling on or before February 23. Two men were shot and injured in Raymond's District Hayes, Clarendon on Thursday. 26-year-old Andre Bartley, Bartley and 34-year-old O'Neill Johnson were at a birthday celebration in the community when explosions were heard. They were taken to the Lionel Town Hospital where they were admitted and treated. And another man was shot and killed on Thursday in Clarendon. 32-year-old Lloyd Vassell, a carpenter of Comfort District, Clarendon, was driving a motorcycle with 23-year-old with Bradley Donald. Vassal was hit, causing the motorbike to fall and throwing Donald to the ground. Donald fled and Vassal was shot several times. He was pronounced dead at the Mapen Hospital. A ban has been placed on all motorcycle and car shows in St. Elizabeth. Head of the St. Elizabeth Police Division Superintendent Catherine Lord made the announcement at Thursday's sitting of the St. Elizabeth Municipal Corporation. The ban, which took effect on February 1, will remain for six months. Agriculture Minister Carl Samuda says he will be seeking additional funding in the 2018-2019 estimates of expenditure to repair more cane and farm roads, as well as to acquire equipment for small farmers. He said he will be looking to secure a minimum $1 billion for road repairs, which would double the allocation in the 2017-2018 budget. A Jamaican man who attempted to smuggle 100 bags of ganja, which he had swallowed, was caught in Barbados. He will be spending the next 12 months in prison after, we, after he was unable to pay a $8,000 fine. He is 35-year-old Lionel Dujon Clark. He appeared before a magistrate on Thursday and pleaded guilty to four drug-related charges. 49-year-old professional bail bondsman James Bailey is to be sentenced on April 26 after pleading guilty to using forged documents to bail a murder accused. Bailey pleaded guilty on Thursday in the Kingston and St. Andrew Parish Court to three counts of uttering forged documents, forgery, and attempting to pervert the course of justice. He was remanded until sentencing. The owners of Carousel, Jamaica, have sold their controlling interest to a South African entity, Involution Limited, ending a long-running nightmare for the Andrew Holness administration. Since early last year, the government has been trying to ease its headache over the telecommunications firm Symbiot Investments Limited, which trades as Carousel, by getting an interested buyer to take it over. In international news, President Donald Trump signed a major budget deal into law on Friday, hours after Congress voted to end a brief government showdown overnight. The House of Representatives voted 240 to 186. The GOP-controlled chamber needed help from House Democrats to clear the bill, and 73 Democrat members, Democratic members rather, gave their vote. 67 House Republicans voted against the plan. And those are the stories in the headlines. Join us at 8 p.m. for more details in Frontline News. I'm Kimberly Wright. Pleasant viewing.